Welcome back to the third bite-sized tutorial in this series of how to start a food blog and earn money. In this tutorial we will be dealing with designing an eye-catching heading for your blog and creating pages and menus. If you've not yet sorted hosting or signed up for your free WordPress site then just hit the link to tutorial 1 at the end of this video. So in the WordPress dashboard we need to get back to the WYSIWYG editor which means what you see is what you get. Here any content or change to the design we make to our theme can be seen immediately. The name we chose for our site will immediately show in the heading part of the theme but we need to add a more eye-catching heading or favourably a logo. We can add a logo via the site identity tab. Hit select logo and you can choose your logo you have uploaded to the media library. If you need help designing an eye-catching logo for your heading, there's a really handy site called canva.com which provides hundreds of templates that you can use for free. Let's take a look. Here is the URL. There are loads of free and paid templates for social media posts, blog posts, ebooks, logos, resumes, and lots more. It's really worth signing up for a free account as Canva will be an invaluable tool for anyone with an online presence. Their logo templates are fully customizable, so once you chose the the template you like, you can make changes to the font, change the text and even change the colours to reflect your theme or brand. How awesome is that? I have already designed a simple logo so all I have to do is get back to the Canva dashboard, select my saved logo and download it from Canva to my desktop. I then can upload it to the WordPress media library for my theme. And there it is. As an aside, it is always worth the effort to add alternate text to any images. This will help the SEO of your site. So next to alternate text, I'm going to type in logo. I will also crop the logo by trimming, by trimming any unnecessary white space. And there is a logo in position in our heading section. Great. Underneath you will notice there is a site tagline. If you want to change it or delete it altogether, you just erase it in the box under tagline on the left hand side. I'm going to erase it and immediately it disappears from the header section. OK. Now we can take a look to see what the heading looks like in different devices by hitting the little icons of a tablet and mobile at the bottom of the, ta the comma column. This is a very handy little facility to check if all your content and design translates well to mobile devices. Now we need to add our menus. But first of all, let us remind ourselves what the menus looked like in the live demo of the Fidica theme. There was a home page, a recipes page with drop down categories list, an about page. There was also a shop page and a contact page. Down the bottom 
There was a footer menu with a home page, about page, a contact page and a privacy policies page. You need to add a privacy policy page if you are storing details of visitors to your site like email addresses and names etc. Or you're using cookies or you're selling goods via a store or affiliate links. To add menus, we need first to create our pages. So X out of the WYSIWYG editor and back to the WordPress dashboard. Remember, if you have signed up for hosting with Bluehost as demonstrated in tutorial one, you will see the in simplified Bluehost and WordPress combined dashboard in the center here. In tutorial two, we added our plugins, but we did not activate them. Before creating our pages, we now need to activate the Yoast SEO plugin. So scroll down to Plugins and Installed Plugins. Find the Yoast SEO plugin and activate it. I have already done so. When activated, take a minute to familiarise yourself with Yoast. For instance, here it will tell you if there are any problems with the SEO of your posts or pages. I would leave all these boxes on turned to on for the moment. Now Yoast is activated, you want to start creating the pages, so go to Pages tab, then Add New. There we can see Yoast is active and ready to start building the snippet for our page. We will be adding more info later on to our SEO to help search engines find and index our content. On the right of the page is a visibility tab where you can make the page private while you edited it. You can also add a large graphic to the page heading here. So in the heading we will type in home as this will be the home page or landing page for our site. Once you've typed it in hit the publish button on the right hand side. Now back to the pages tab and hit add new. Next we will type in an about page. This is where you can add a bit about yourself or your brand etc. Hit publish. Back to the pages tab and hit add new. And now we will add the all important recipe page. This will house a recipe index to all your recipes, including categories, which we will add later on. Now we are going to add a contact page. This is where we will be creating a contact form for your site so visitors can get in touch or subscribe to that all-important email list. Don't forget to add publish, otherwise any change, anything you create will be lost. Lately, lastly, we add the privacy policy page and we will be copying and adding the content of the Foodica privacy poly policy page here later on. 
Now we're going to check if all pages are present. So go to the Pages tab and All Pages. And there they are. Great. Now we can create our menus. So back to the WYSIWYG editor, go to Appearance and then Customize. Hit the Menus tab and Add Menu. As this will be our main menu, we will check the main menu box and type in main in the heading box above. Hit next. Now we can start adding pages to our main menu. There is the pages we have added and we will choose the home page, about page, recipes page and contact pages. And there it is. Great. Now we will create our footer menu. So X out to the main menu at the so in the left hand column and go to menus again. Now we will create our footer menu. So back to menus and type in footer. And check the box next to footer menu. Add our pages. And now we need to add the home page, about page, contact page and privacy policy page. We can even adjust the order of the pages here. Great. Let's take a look, see if it's all present. Don't forget to hit the publish button. And it's there. Awesome. So, join me for tutorial four, where we'll be adding a sidebar and formulating a footer to our theme. If you've not yet found suitable hosting or signed up for your free WordPress blog theme, then hit tutorial 1 link in the notes to this video. For a limited time, I'm offering to design an awesome and fully functioning blog for anyone using my affiliate link to sign up for Bluehost Hosting. I will build you your own personal food blog using the Foodica theme to incorporate all your content and posts in a seamless and attractive layout. I will include a fully functioning sidebar with social media widgets, sign up widget, Instagram feeder and footer. I will include an about page with your own unique header graphic and content. I will incorporate your own recipes page, including the drop down categories list and an elegant recipes index that allows users to seamlessly access all your recipe posts, incorporating stunning graphics. With the help of the WordPress recipe plugin, I will also set out your recipes in recipe card format so visitors to your site can download and print out recipes effortlessly. Lastly, 
I will incorporate a contact page with a contact form linked to your email address so you can start building that all-important email list. Please see the notes to this video for the terms of this offer. And if you have enjoyed these bite-sized tutorials, please hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell to get alerts for when new videos are uploaded. Cheers!